Mr. G'day Legends, how you going? Just a quick video on how to install Battle.net on your Bazite server. I mean, system without using Lutris. The reason why I'm not using Lutris is because I had a lot of issues with it. It wasn't installing the game. It, it got the 50%, whatever. It just didn't work for me. So I told it the gave it the middle finger, I told it to piss off. So how, how we do it, let's go to um, this one here, which is this. Um, I think I can delete that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was the shortcut. Okay, so what we want to do is go to Battle.net. All right, change. Like, don't change this. I'm just changing it for the solely for the video so I don't have to reinstall it. You can add desktop if you want. All right, just click OK. It launches. Installs. And I'm not going to pause the video because this is just going to be show you that this is no, no bullshit. So I'll just speed it up so you can see it installing. Okay, as you can see, it installed. All you got to do now is you log in, bada bing, bada boom, you're in. Okay, so we'll go remove that one. Um, we'll close the launcher. I'll reopen it so I can delete that path because I don't need it. Delete. All right, so yeah, uh, whatever. All right, now if you did it the way I did it, which was, um, sorry about the things there, I've been trying to make different videos all day. If you did it the way I did it, you go to download the launcher, you right click, you clicked on here. Again, that installs it automatically. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to override, override my prefix. So once it installs, if you did it that way, you go to the folder, go to default, go to C drive, x86, that on that, and there's your launcher. So what you do now, if you want to put a shortcut, if you've done it that way, create shortcut. Okay, call it whatever you want. Wow. Ah, uh, I'll just call it that on that. Make it easier for you. We don't have to worry about this. We, so this is what we don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about proton fix. You don't have to worry about, worry about launch argument, argument, so argument, or the game. Only you have to worry about additional application. So while you're in that folder, right click anywhere thing select that entire line copy it and paste it into here right now you can make it you can change your pattern launcher if you want i did i changed it to where is it this one because i like it right you can click game mode if you've gone into game mode doesn't matter just click ok done okay it went there we double click on that and it launches the game and that is how you install World of Warcraft. Okay. Um, if you just want to see it working, I'll log in in a minute. I'll, I'll have to do the login on a different window because obviously I don't want you to see my passwords. So I'll just pause it while I log in. Okay, so I'm back in. Sorry. I've just got to all prove it. Okay, so we can log in and we can play. So I'll just log in. I know my account's probably suspended because I don't play it right now. Um, as you can see, I've downloaded all three of the games that I play. So we go into Warcraft, let that load in. And we'll just log into uh my grindstone. So you can see the graphics look pretty good. So I'll just log in the grindstone. Okay, and boom, that's it guys, well, it's perfectly fine, a little bit laggy on your first launch in, like, first loading, um, but other than that, you can see it works fine, uh, we'll go hit some targets over here so you can see everything's perfectly fine, there's a stupid reason for the tab, 
tab key, that's for a video for another day. But yeah, you can see it all works. Everything's fine. So yeah, that's it. So I hope I hope that video helps helps all you Warcraft fans that want to try Bazite. And if it did, give it a like and subscribe. And so until the next video, guys. Uru.